My name is Erosto Red Jackson, and hey y'all, we're about to take y'all through Lil Red's Takeout and Catering. We are a barbecue restaurant. Uh, a lot of people drive by, they see the uh, Jamaican flag in the window, um, but they also don't see the American flag. And what's more American than barbecue? But we also do Jamaican food here, some Jamaican food, and we also do some soul food here. So it's kind of a variety, but we are predominantly a barbecue restaurant. I started selling food out of the back of my station wagon and uh, driving around to different barber shops, and it just grew from there. And then uh, once uh, a lot of the restaurants in the community started uh, closing down, like Silver Fork and Miss Helen's and a few other restaurants, I'm like, well, we need food in the community. So I got an opportunity to uh, open up my restaurant here in this building, and I took it. I always wanted to be that little hole in the wall uh, in the city. You know, when you travel, uh, some of your best foods comes from those little hole in the wall uh, restaurants. Community around here in the Rainier Valley and in uh, Columbia City, you know, the, the people that come in here, they, you know, they support us very well. You know, I, we, I feel like we put out a good product. I feel like we treat our customers right. And I mean, if you do things the right way, people are gonna take care of you. I'm biased, you know, I came up with a menu, so I think everything on my menu is a must have. Um, but, you know, people seem to like, uh, you know, as far as meats, they seem to love the oxtails. Uh, they seem to love the brisket and the burn ins, um, you know, ribs, uh, sides, they love the greens, the macaroni and cheese, the garlic mashed potatoes, the yams. Um, you notice I'm going through the entire menu. Uh, so, as I said, I'm pretty biased about uh, everything that we put out because I cook everything with love. When you have homeless people uh, in the community, you know, they usually ask for money. Um, I've never been one to give money, you know, but who am I to have a restaurant and say that I can't feed you? So people know that they can come in here and they can just get a free plate of food whenever they're hungry. Um, that's one thing that uh, we're really proud of doing here and uh, we're gonna continue to do that. In the food industry, people wanna put a name and a face with the product that they're eating. You know, Lil Reds is the name of my business. You know, as you can see, I'm not the smallest guy in the world, you know, so it's kind of a play on words. My wife's name is Lil Eth Anderson. You know, her we call her Lil. So that's where we get it from, Lil Reds. So being that we are a family business, you know, in the community, it's important for me to be the family man that's in the community working and serving the people. I'm definitely seeing more and more uh, black restaurants coming into the uh, central and area, central and south end. Um, I haven't had a time to come out and try everybody yet, but that's definitely my goal. Um, but you know, I, the community needs us, you know, and as far as culture and food and everything else. So it's good to see that everybody, you know, is coming back and, you know, feeding the community, so to speak. So make sure you come and check us out here at Lil Reds. We're at 4225 Rainier Avenue South in the old Mondo's Meats building, just north of the uh, Rainier and Genesee.